Today we're looking at the Rhino motorcycle tie down strap, so stick around. Welcome to Rough Riders, I'm Jay Taylor. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Rhino USA motorcycle tie-down straps. Uh, I picked these up to replace some uh, old ones that were starting to fray that I've had for years. Uh, and so I thought uh, in this video we'd do a quick unboxing, take a look at the straps, and do just a quick comparison to uh, some of the other types of straps that I've got laying around. So with that, let's take a look what comes in the box. Uh, so as we open the box up, we've got two straps. We've got uh, some Velcro, uh, I guess straps, if you will, to, to tie them up. We've got some stickers. We've got a product brochure for other products. And then we've got the instructions and a warranty card, along with a uh, basic bag with the Urano logo on them. Let's take a look at the specs of the strap. So first off, um, they are rated at uh, 1,100 pounds working load limit, 3,300 pound brake strength. Uh, they, uh, the box says they're uh, 1.5 inches wide, which they are, uh, by 8 feet. And they're made of a poly uh, silk blend like most of these straps are all uh, sort of some sort of poly uh, blend with other materials uh, with these it's uh, they, they blend with silk which makes them really 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 soft now as we open them up what we see is we've got a poly coated sort of polyvinyl coated hook and then there is a nice little safety latch. I really like the safety latch uh, because that keeps, once you put the soft strap in there, uh, it keeps it from slipping out. It won't, uh, like if you, you get uh, compression on your forks or something like that and you get a little bit of slack in the line, uh, the uh, strap can fall out with the safety straps, uh, safety clips in there, uh, spring loaded. Uh, those straps won't fall out. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your, your hooks coming undone if you're going down some bumpy road or something like that and you get a little slack on the line. Uh, the cam buckle, if this is a cam buckle type, uh, as you can see, so it's got a uh, nice little uh, uh, diamond point uh, divots or, or pits there um, to, uh, you know, securely grab the strap uh, to keep it, once you cinch it up, it won't come loose. And uh, then it's got the integrated uh, soft loop so that you can loop that around your bars and slip that on the end like that. Uh, and now you've got a nice soft material up against your bars as opposed to just the, the hook itself. So uh, that's, a, that's a little bit of a look at the strap. As I said, they're 1.5 inches long. Uh, now, as far as measurement goes, it says they're eight feet. Um, I, I measured them, they're not actually eight feet. So I have another set of these. This, I actually like the setup quite a bit, so that's why I picked up the second set. Uh, but uh, I measured my other set, uh, exact same things. Uh, they, the box says eight feet, but that's not what I measured. So what happens is if you go from, uh, i do this real quick, and go from uh, hook to hook, fully stretched out, uh, it comes out to about six feet three inches. If you go um, fully stretched out with the, the soft loop all the way to the other end of the uh, hook, then you've got about seven feet eight inches. And then if you do the integrated soft loop, which is how you're going to be using them, which to me is the working length, uh, when you put that on there like that and then stretch it all the way out, you've got... Um, I measured uh, six feet 11 inches uh, so that's kind of your working length is just under seven feet uh, but for for most cases that should be uh, plenty fine if you're going to your bars or something like that um, you know because these are you know specifically for 
you know, for my, for my bike. So I don't need, you know, 10 foot straps. Uh, the extra length just kind of gets in the way. The other thing is you get a nice uh, loop on both uh, handles. So uh, as you're pulling down, um, you've got, you've got a, a, a nice place to grab. So uh, these are really, really nice straps. I really, really like them. Uh, that's why I actually ordered the, the second set. Now, I, as I said, I thought we'd compare them to some other straps that I've got. Um, so these are the cam buckle designs. I've got also an inch and a half wide uh, ratcheting set. Uh, this is a set of, uh, from Goodyear uh, that I had picked up from Costco, a set of four for $20, uh, which was a steal. So that's why I actually bought a, actually two packs of them. Uh, and then uh, these were on Amazon. I got them for 30, I think it's 32 bucks uh, for a set of two. Um, they do have discounts if you buy uh, multiple sets at a time, uh, which I should have done. I could have saved, uh, saved some money, but uh, I didn't know I was gonna like them until I uh, got the first set. Now, um, as I said, these are inch and a half as well uh, from Goodyear. Uh, same, same working load limit. So 1,100 pound working load limit, 3,300 pound brake strength. The hook on these, again, poly coated, but it's a different hook design. So um, it, you know, it's, it's all about, I guess, personal preference. Uh, here's a one inch set. Uh, again, it's a poly blend. This is not the silk though. This is a little bit rougher material. Uh, these are 10 feet in length. Uh, again, a cam buckle design. Uh, one inch wide, 400 pound working load limit, and 1200 pound brake strength. And then here's a ratcheting version of the same thing. This was another set of four that I picked up from Costco. Um, uh, for one inch strap, 400 pound working load limit, 1200 pound brake strength. So um, that's kind of how all of these things uh, stack up. So if you've got some of these other straps, you kind of know what to expect when you get these. Uh, I will say that of all of these here, this poly silk blend is, is really, really soft. Uh, so it won't scuff up your plastics or anything like that. So it's a, it's a really, really nice, I really like it. Um, these ones, uh, these ratchet straps, um, these, are, these work really well. Uh, I use these to secure my wife's quad um, just because I can snug it up a little bit tighter than I can with cam buckle because with a cam buckle, it's your strength of how, how much you can pull on that with the ratcheting strap, obviously. Uh, you, you get to leverage the mechanics of the gears and stuff to be able to, to get that really, really snug and keep things from moving. Uh, so there you go. That's a, a quick look at these straps. If you have any questions or comments, please post those below. I'll get to those as soon as I can. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And, um, you know, as far as a recommendation, I, yeah, I'd absolutely recommend these. These are, are really nice straps, even though the measurements are a little bit off. Yeah, but I absolutely think they're, uh, they're really, really nice straps. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Rough Riders. And uh, get out there and enjoy, enjoy your ride. All right, see you next time.